Have you noticed the moon in the sky last few nights? If you have, chances are, you must have noticed it looks bigger than usual. Wondered why? That's because the last three months of 2025 will bring a rare streak of back-to-back -back supermoons. When the moon's full phase aligns with the closest point in its orbit to Earth, the moon appears bigger in the sky. On October 6th, November 5th, and December 4th, the harvest, beaver, and cold moons will all rise as supermoons, forming a three-month run that skywatchers rarely get to see. Here's what you need to know. What makes a moon super? So as you might know, the moon doesn't orbit Earth in a perfect circle, it follows an elliptical path. That means there are times each month when the moon is a little closer to Earth, a point called perigee, and times when it is farther away, at apogee. At perigee, the moon can be about 356,000 kilometers away, while at apogee it can retreat to more than 406,000 kilometers. When a full moon occurs at the same as the perigee, you see a supermoon, a lunar disk that appears slightly larger and shines more brightly than usual. Compared with the farthest full moon, a supermoon can appear up to 14% bigger and 30% brighter. Why 2025 will have three consecutive supermoons? Supermoons aren't rare. We typically see a few each year. What is unusual is that 2025 will have a streak of three consecutive full moons lining up with perigee. The cosmic party continues into 2026 as January 3rd will be next year's first supermoon, which technically means we are about to witness four back-to-back -back supermoons. The names behind the moons. For centuries, full moons have carried names that reflect seasonal rhythms, survival strategies, and cultural traditions. The harvest moon of October takes its name from the final weeks of the agricultural season in the Northern Hemisphere. November's beaver moon was noted by Native American communities as the season when beavers prepared for winter by repairing lodges and building dams. December's cold moon signals the arrival of long nights and deep winter across the Northern Hemisphere. Rising during the holiday season, it has long been seen as a beacon against the year's darkest days. What will we see in the night sky? The size difference between an ordinary full moon and a supermoon is subtle, but the moon seems larger at moonrise. As the full moon climbs above the eastern horizon just after sunset, it can appear enormous, not only because it is at perigee. Even the high tides can feel a slight boost from the supermoon, rising a few centimeters higher than normal. Despite sensational claims, there is no evidence linking supermoons to earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or other disasters. The only hazard for moon gazers is missing the view due to clouds. How to watch and photograph the supermoons The best way to enjoy each of these supermoons on its respective date is simple. Step outside after sunset and look east. Point your binoculars at the moon and you can sharpen lunar features like craters, mountain ranges, and the dark seas of solidified lava. Even a modest backyard telescope can reveal the rugged beauty of the moon's surface in striking detail.